all right guys welcome back to our channel and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can arrange data in a html table using javascript so we had a request made by one of our friend and here's a solution to it so as we can see over here i have a html table and it has three columns so i'm just named it for convention purpose column one column two and column three and it has data within it so we have a table rows three table rows and we have three one and two so we are going to arrange this in an ascending order we can add another table by copying this paste it down over here and we will give this four we can change this to k and we can change this to m just for convention purpose so let's save this so basically what this code does is it reads the column now this is in a normal format and we change it to an ascending order where we get one, two, three, four. So let's see how it's done. And later on, we can have a look at the code. So I have it hosted live. I'm using live server for it. So let me go to my browser, refresh the page, and here we have all the four data. So we have a button that is given over here. So once I click this button, it changes the order in ascending order, and it even changes the button heading. We have used JavaScript for the same. And again, when I click back on it, it goes back to its normal form. It's really simple, and you can use this in your Node.js application as we have done it in our previous session, and we can arrange data systematically. So let's see how it's done. Let's see the coding part. So let me go back to my VS code. And here I've maintained the code as a structure. So it's a convention that you have to use index.html for your first page, main.js for your JavaScript file, and style.css for your styling. So I've done the same over here. So in my main.js, I've just fetched the elements based on their ID that I've defined over here. So we can see here the table is defined by table data and the button is defined by a sort button. So I've fetched the same and I've stored it in a variable over here. I've set the order to an ascending order because I want the data to be arranged in ascending order. We've also added an event listener to the sort button that is a click event listener so that whenever a click event occurs, we can arrange the data, either be ascending order or back to the normal form. We have multiple event listener. For instance, we have hover, on click, on key up, on key down. Based on your program, you can use those. So here, I want to use a click event listener. So once a click event is done, we will check if the order is ascending. If the order is ascending, we have to sort it in the descending order and change the text context to ascending order. Basically, what this line does is it changes the button's text and sets it to ascending order. If at all it is not in the ascending order, we set it back to normal. That's all that the button does when the on click event occurs. Alongside with this, we are generating a function which takes two parameters that is table and sort order. And as we know in our programming language, a list starts with the index zero. That's why I've used it zero over here because I'm going to reference the first column. Let me show you in our code over here. So in the output, this is zero. 1 and 2, and we are going to arrange the data according to this column. So we are going to reference the 0th index. So that's why it's 0 over here. And the same over here because we are going to reference the 0th index. It's a really simple code. And after everything is done, after the logic is applied, we are going to append it to a new body and we are going to swap the same. It's a really simple code. This code is available on my GitHub. You can just download it from there and implement it on your projects. So let me show you once again what the project does. So if I save this and go to my browser, refresh it, and over here we have a button, and I click on normal, it changes the form to an ascending order and shows that it is in the ascending order. And when I click again on it, it changes back to the normal form, which is a jumble form. That's all for this video, guys. So if at all you have any queries or any doubts or any solution that you'll want to, you all can ping me in the comment section below and I will help you out. Thank you.